Hi and welcome to My City of Friends, the place where non-technical founders build successful startups by improving their tech management skills. I'm Amory and today I'm going to answer a question from Sabine, the founder of an accounting control platform. Her question is, how can I keep track of my provider's work? And before answering this question, let's add a bit of context. Sabine hired a development provider to build a mobile application plus a web platform. Now that she has several projects running in parallel, she's wondering how to optimize the workflow with her provider and follow what they are doing. The whole point of developing a software is to align customers' needs with features to be developed. And the thing is that startups don't always have a clear idea of what they want, nor what their customer wants. And this complicates things between providers and startups. Some providers even go as far as to avoid working with startups altogether, just because it takes so much time and energy to help them to get there to specifications that fit their customers' needs. So to help Sabine, here is the most important things providers and founders need to understand. You need constant and crystal clear communication. As a founder, you need to provide clear directions towards the next step. Acknowledge if what they are doing on a weekly basis is what you expect of them and fill their to-do list with ideas based on your customers' behaviors and desires. In other words, you need to be agile. Don't write 100 page worth of specifications, but instead 10 to 20 page will be enough, going into general details on your business model, your customer journey, or how people will pay. And for specification details, Use a workflow application or a project management tool like Trello, Asana or Jira, where you will upload mockups, drawings and functional descriptions specifically for each features. And you know what? With all that said, tools aren't that important. What is important is the following specification process. First, specify new screen or features, the things you want to develop next week. Then, in a weekly meeting with your provider, discuss your specifications and answer their questions. Next, ask your provider to reformulate. It can be in a written format, a drawing of what your screen will look like, or at least describing how he will do it and how much time it's going to take. And next, prioritize features based on their required development time and their importance for the business. And once you have the focus for the next week, let your developer work on what you agree and organize a retrospective planning and meeting every week or two. During this meeting, go through this agenda. First, remember the project goals and deadline. Ask for demos of what has been developed so far. Discuss which features are to be developed next and let your provider ask questions and reformulate the features ideas. Next, check if there is anything going wrong and if any difficulties have come up. And verify if you are still on track, time and budget wise. Keep in mind that the quality of the software and the relationship with your provider will rely on this process. Start by having this meeting on a weekly basis. And if the process satisfies both of you, after a while, move on to a meeting every two weeks. Be aware that your expectation will change along development as well. So if you want to develop something new, you will probably have to remove something else, or at least add an extra budget and a development time. Now you might think, okay, I am getting all of this. But this process sounds quite heavy and time consuming. And well, it can be, but it's up to you and your provider to industrialize and optimize it. And project management tools like, again, Jira, Asana can be connected to the developer's environment. In other words, to the source code repository. This means that to keep better track of things, you can assign numbers to features like number 34 for the lost password features. Per usual, your developer will add comments in the new code, saying that the following new lines of code are to develop the features number 34. Following this methodology, the developer comments will automatically be accessible to the project manager through the project management tool. So to conclude and answer Sabine's question, the process we talked about today, the specifications, the Q&A, the reformulation, the prioritization, the development, and finally the demonstration step, that's the key. And to make it even more efficient, ask your provider to connect your project management tool to the developer's repository. It will allow you to have a transparent and clear vision of what your developers are doing, without having to bother them with a checkup call every two days 
or to send them some email all the time. And if like Sabine, you have a specific question for your project, just go ahead and ask on mycityofriend.co slash ask. I will do my best to answer your question by video or to redirect you to existing content that will answer it. And also be sure to go through other courses on mycityofriend.co to learn more from real startup growth experience and better manage your startup development. Waiting for your question? I look forward to seeing you in other videos. Cheers.